Hi, Alia here. Okay, so don't freak out. This is just a test I'm trying to do and trying for 30 days. Uh, I have not quit the carnivore universe, but I am ditching a lot of carnivore foods for the next 30 days. But while I say that, I first want to say I love the carnivore lifestyle. Um, it has healed me so many ways, physically and mentally. I really feel honestly it gave me my life back or gave me the tools to be able to heal. It gave me the food and nutrients I needed to heal my body and to help me actually heal my mind and just be a better person and be the person I wanted to be um, that I was wishing I could be. I was so upset for such a long time about my weight. I was upset about how I was feeling and really following this carnivore path dramatically changed that. So then you're like, why are you going to change that? Well, because I actually came to carnivore to lose weight. That's why I came to carnivore. Not understanding the huge spectrum of results that I was going to get otherwise. And so I stick to this way of eating because I just feel so much better. However, I haven't lost the weight. You hear people, they lose hundred pounds, 200 pounds, 80 pounds, 500 pounds. What is going on people? I've lost between 25 or 30 pounds, depending on the day I've been eating this way for a year and a half. So I know that's not all there is to life, but I would like to lose I would like to lose some more weight. So I am going to do a pescatarian sort of version of this diet. And I really want to go into why that is. Um, so first, just recap what is carnivore. Carnivore is all meats and animal products. Uh, people don't drink milk for the most part, from what I understand. I don't drink milk. Um, milk is to make babies fat, which is great. Babies need to be fat. Okay. They need that to build their bodies and build their brains. But when you're 41 years old, you don't need the fat anymore. At least as much as I got. You probably do need some fat. Anyways, so that's carnivore. Meat products, meat, salt, water is the very basic bare minimum. And then there's a spectrum of actually what people consider carnivore. Um, what is pescatarian? Pescatarian is actually a vegetarian diet where they get their sources of protein from fish. So... I'm kind of going to like do like a carny pescatarian. First of all, I want to say I'm not doing this as like a full lifestyle change. I'm literally going to do this as like an actual diet. I don't consider carnivore diet. I consider it a lifestyle and it has healed me tremendously in this lifestyle. I'm going to do this as a diet. I found in my carnivore journey that I've been able to lose weight and then maintain that weight, maintain it. So I want to bust down to the next level and then maintain. Do you get what I'm saying? Because I know by eating, following this carnivore lifestyle, how I've been following, I've been able to maintain the weight that I lost since I started carnivore. So I have reviewed what foods in the past made me feel the most excellent and or actually have successfully lost weight. Um, I did a pescatarian diet a couple of years ago and I lost weight. And, um, and actually at that time I was starting to feel a little bit better, like how I was physically feeling, but it was so little, it was so insignificant, like nothing like carnivore, but I lost weight. And so with my mind, how it is now, my mindset, how it is now, I'm ready to like go into this diet, this pescatarian carnivore-ish sort of diet with the mindset to try to lose some weight. So it's actually like a challenge for me also. And that's why I wanted to do it. The foods that made me feel, lose weight and or feel the best are funny. They're funny foods. Um, fish. Fish is on that list. I've lost weight eating fish. Um, fish is easy on my digestive system. So that's very nice. Um, I actually do like fish. I do not enjoy it. Like it's my favorite food, but I will eat it. Um, other thing on the list is chicken livers. So part of my pescatarian diet will be chicken livers. Um, I'll probably consume that once a week. Once a week. But I will be eating fish every day. Okay. Um, I will also be eating eggs. So those are the three main things and butter. Uh, those are the three main things that I'm going to eat on this diet for the next 30 days. So I know people are going to be like, well, why don't you just do a sardine fast? So we need to go back a year ago ish when I tried to do a sardine fast. Um, so I don't know if the sardines were bad. I don't know if the oil that said olive oil was actually just like rancid um, or if it was like conceit oils or whatever. The, the box said olive oil. It's very hard for me. I just recently found um, sardines in water and I've been looking for them. So I did this fast. I was going to do it for five days. I think I got up to like 
midday three, so Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I felt terrible. I felt very weak. I felt terrible. Um, and my butt started bleeding. That's, that's literally what stopped it. When my butt was bleeding, I'm like, no, nah, mm-mm. Or I don't know if I, my butt was bleeding and I continued, but when I felt terrible, I just ate eggs and I felt like a thousand times better. So a little bit of TMI, but that's why I'm not going to uh, just do a sardine fast. Maybe part of this next 30 days will be some sardines. Um, I like salmon. I like trout. I know that people are also uh, concerned about like the quality of fish. Funny enough, I when I decided to do this, I'm looking at my phone right now because I got an email. I'm on Paul Saladino's email list. I just want to be on everyone's email list and maybe I can obtain some knowledge. But literally the email says, I do not eat fish. Here's why. And then he goes into all sorts of various good reasons, including microplastics and heavy metals and who knows what, who knows what. But Basically, all of our food is screwed minus minus beef, but I'm willing to uh, I'm willing to try on myself and test something out on myself. So there you go. All right. So then some people are like, well, why don't you just do fasting? So let's go into fasting for a second. I have Hashimoto's. Fasting for me is very stressful when I've tried it, when I push it farther than I feel comfortable and I have. Um, it's very stressful. So when you have Hashimoto's stress um, releases cortisol, but stress is also a trigger for Hashimoto's antibodies. So if I'm going to put myself in a stressful situation, potentially I'm actually doing more damage to my thyroid. And let's go back for a second. Cause I've totally forgot to mention this. Um, fish has nutrients in it, which are protective of the thyroid that can help the thyroid. And that's another reason why I'm trying to do this. I want to see if I can just load up on the, the foods that will help my thyroid. Okay. So I did fasting for a week, uh, OMAD, sorry, I did OMAD for a week back in the end of January. Uh, during this time period, I was also pushing myself too hard on other things. I was overloading on coffee and the coffee was helping me to be able to do the one meal a day. I was using it as a crutch. Anyways, long story short, at the end of that week, I got incredibly ill. Um, I can't blame it for sure on the OMAD, but maybe the extra stress and everything else that was going on. I was sick for like a month, three weeks. Um, but it, it took me about a month to finally recover. So I'm a little hesitant of like just trying to jump back into OMAD. All right. Remember, I just want to say that this channel originally was about me documenting how I'm going to lose weight. So it's totally morphed into something else. But once in a while, I'll do these videos of what I'm doing to try to lose some weight. And maybe it'll help somebody else. Um, I personally don't feel that um, fish is the worst food in the world. I wonder, you can let me know in the comments if you feel that fish is a terrible food. Okay. Um, so yeah, I can do fasting. I think, uh, around 16 hours is okay, but you know, sometimes it's kind of hard. I'm making food for everybody. I want to eat some eggs in the morning. I could, I could do 16 hours of fasting, but that's not really in my plan here for the next month. Okay. So next 30 days, here's what I'm going to eat. I'm going to eat fish of various kinds. I'm going to eat chicken liver. I'm going to eat eggs. I'm going to eat butter. I'm going to have lime. Lime has always been on my carnivore diet menu, actually. I'm also, by doing this, I'm kicking out cheese and dairy minus the butter, um, which has been hard for me to do that. So I think that that's also going to help because cheese can be a Hashimoto's um, antibody trigger. So I think that that will also help. And it's playing a part of this. Again, I'm doing this for 30 days. Who knows? Maybe nothing happens. Maybe I don't lose one ounce of anything. In addition to this last week, I started exercising. So I'm going to do a video about that in about a month. Um, because I'm not an exerciser, I do love walking, but I actually started exercising. So I will go over more of that later, but that will be kind of like what I'm doing over the next month to heal my body. I more specifically want to talk about how I'm changing my eating habits. So today was day one. So far I've had five scrambled eggs and butter and at lunch I had trout and it was, it was good. Again, not my favorite food. It really isn't my favorite food um, at all, but I'm willing to do it. Take one for the team, try to lose some weight. I don't, if, okay, so what's going to happen? Let's say like my mental state gets worse. Okay, then I'm not going to keep doing this. Let's say I actually start feeling bad. I'm not going to keep doing this. But so far, so good. I don't feel bad. My mental state hasn't changed. I think that this is an accurate time to do a diet because now after being on my carnivore journey for a year and a half, 
or how many of them are in March 2020, albeit not perfect. I have learned so much about my body. I've learned so much about health. And um, now I think I can do a diet successfully and then go back to my standard way of eating, which is now the carnivore lifestyle, like my beef, my eggs, my bacon. I don't have bacon here. Why do I ever say bacon? I can't wait to visit the States and get some bacon. So do you guys think I'm nuts? What do you think? Um, what do you think about eating this? Do you think this is even stricter carnivore than I was doing before, actually? Um, I would like to know. And give me all your thoughts about the microplastics in fish. The end.